Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can implement smart wallets into your Web3 application. With our brand new wallet SDK, you can now create ERC4337 compatible smart contract wallets and connect them to your web app. We know that wallets are hard to understand for non-native Web3 users, but now with smart wallets and smart contract wallets, we can simplify this process and give a user a better experience. We can now create these app-linked smart wallets that have programmable logic, and we can now create all the features that we need for our application when it comes to wallets or accounts. So again, in this video, we're gonna create a connect wallet button, allowing a user to connect with a smart wallet. We'll also build a button to claim an NFT. And the great thing with smart wallets is we can now do gasless transactions. So we'll be able to see how smooth the flow goes for someone who isn't familiar using a wallet. Now, before we get started with this, let's jump into a quick demo of what we'll be building. So right here on my computer, I have my app here and right now it says to please log in so we can click on the login button right now we are logging into our smart wallet it's going to ask us to sign in with our metamask wallet for our personal wallet or we can continue as guest and continue as guest is utilizing our local wallet from our wallet sdk and if you would like to watch a video on how to create your local wallet you can follow one of our tutorial videos and we'll add that in the description below let's just say our user doesn't know what a metamask wallet is they can continue as a guest uh, if they don't have a wallet they will be asked to create a password here and create a new wallet that wallet will then be their personal wallet that powers their smart wallet. Now, once they have signed in, you can see here that this is their new smart wallet address, and this is their personal wallet that's acting like the key to their smart wallet. Now I can claim an NFT. We can introduce gasless transactions automatically with smart wallet. So there will be no confirming any transactions or anything. I can just click and interact with my button here to claim an NFT. And once that is done, there you have it. We claimed our NFT and this wallet now owns the NFT from our collection. And there you can see how easy the flow is with smart wallets and in combination with local wallets and gasless transactions, we can really create a better experience for our Web3 apps. So now let's go ahead and build out this demo here and our connect wallet button. There are a few things that we need to set up first before we can create our smart wallet. We'll need to create our account factory smart contract and we'll also have to get an API key from third web and then we can jump into our code editor and create our connect wallet button. So back on the computer here, first thing we're gonna do is head on over to thirdweb.com, connect your wallet and you'll be brought to our dashboard page here, our homepage, and we'll browse contracts. And if you scroll down in our contracts, you'll find a section that says smart wallet. And for this demonstration, we're going to deploy a simple wallet factory. Uh, we do also have dynamic wallet factories and managed wallet factories. But for this tutorial to show you how to easily implement smart wallets, we'll do a simple wallet factory. You'll select deploy now in the top right, and then you'll select the network or chain you want to deploy on. We'll just select Mumbai, and we'll select deploy now. Confirm that transaction and then sign to add this to our dashboard. And once that's deployed, we'll be brought to our overview page here. And you can copy and save the contract address for your account factory. And we'll need that for when we create our connect wallet button. Now up here in our navigation tabs, you'll see API keys. I'm just going to open up a new tab here for that. And under API keys, we'll connect our wallet here will sign to get started. And if you don't have any API keys generated, you can create a new key here. It'll generate you an API key. You can copy that, save that on the side as well, because that is another thing we'll need for our connect wallet button. Lastly, for this, we'll go back to contracts here. I'm gonna deploy a new contract and I'm just gonna do an addition drop. And this is just going to be a test contract. That way we can mint some NFTs to make sure that our smart wallet is working and that our gasless transactions work. So with the addition drop, I'm going to select deploy now. We'll just say, uh, we'll do smart wallet NFT 
call it smart for our symbol. I'm not going to change anything here, and I'm going to deploy it to the same Mumbai testnet. Confirm this transaction, and then sign to add it to our dashboard. Once that's done on the left hand navigation, I'm going to go to the NFTs tab. I'm going to do a single upload and we'll just call this a smart NFT. I have a sample image here and I'm just going to lazy mint this NFT and confirm that transaction. And once that is minted, we'll select it. We'll set up a claim condition and we'll add a phase so that this NFT is claimable. And I'm just going to make it unlimited and free here just for this demo. Confirm that transaction and we have that saved and set. So again, I'm just gonna copy this contract address here so we can use it in our application. And now let's build our application and create our connect wallet button that will allow us to use our smart wallet. So I'm gonna open up my terminal here, and just enlarge this. So my terminal here, I'm just gonna run MPX third web at latest to get the latest version and create app to create an application here. We're gonna name this uh, smart wallet. I'm gonna use EVM because we are using the Mumbai testnet. And I'm gonna use next and TypeScript for this example. Once that is done, we'll change into our smart wallet here and we'll open this up in our code editor. And the first thing we're gonna do in our code editor is under the pages folder, we're gonna head over to the underscore app.tsx file. And let me just close this. First thing I'm gonna do here in this is change the active change to uh, Mumbai because that is the network we deployed our contracts to. And under the third web provider, this is where we can specify what wallets we wanna support in our application. So let me just move this down here. And in here we can do supported wallets. And in our supported wallets, we can, we can add things like a MetaMask wallet, um, we can add all our different wallets from uh, Coinbase, uh, Wallet Connect. Uh, we're just going to do Smart Wallet here. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna do Smart Wallet. Now Smart Wallet, uh, we do need to provide it a few things. The first thing we need to do is provide it our factory address. Now I'm going to, in my files here, I'm gonna just create a new folder for my contents here, and I'm going to add a new file and I'm just gonna put addresses, TS. And in here, I'm going to store all my contract addresses and API keys. So I'm just gonna do uh, export. Uh, the first one was, what do we have? Our factory address. Then we have our uh, API key. And then we have our uh, NFT collection. So we'll put NFT address. All right, and let me just copy in those contract addresses that we had and our API key. Save that there. And then for our factory address, we can put in our factory address. We will also need to put in our third web API key. So we can get our API key here. Uh, we can set up a uh, gasless and we'll set gasless to true because we want our transactions to be gasless. And last thing we need to do is set up the personal wallets. Now personal wallets, this is going to be the wallet that uh, connects to the smart con to our smart wallet. Now we can set up a uh, MetaMask here. You can set up your Coinbase. Uh, we can set up, you know, Coinbase wallet. We can even do a paper wallet. So if you're doing like a email wallet support, you can do paper wallet. Uh, if you do paper wallet though, you do need your client ID from your paper wallet. I'm actually gonna take that out because I don't have a client ID with me right now. Uh, we can also do our local wallet. And local wallet, you can set the persist to true here. That way, if someone comes back in with their local wallet and signs in, uh, we can bring up their previous uh, connected account. And with that, that is how easy it is to set up a smart wallet. Now we can take a look at this. If we go to our pages here and we open up our index.tsx file, I'm gonna get rid of this um, templated content between the main tags. And I'm just gonna add a connect wallet button. You can open up our terminal here and do yarn dev. 
and take a look at this here. And we now have our connect wallet button. And if we click on that connect wallet button, again, it's going to ask us what personal wallet we want to continue with. We can select MetaMask, Coinbase, or we can continue as a guest. If we have continue as guest, it's going to bring up the local wallet that we have stored on our device. So uh, we can just sign into that one. But if someone doesn't have a local wallet set up already, they'll be brought to this page where they're creating a guest account. They'll create a password for their new account and then create a new wallet and it'll automatically generate them a local wallet on their device. Uh, but we'll sign in with our wallet here. We'll hit connect and that generates them a brand new smart wallet. And this is their brand new smart wallet address that is linked to this application here. Now let's create a Web3 button here using the Web3 UI component from Third Web, And we can use that button to claim an NFT. And because we have the NFT set to gasless, a user just needs to click on the button and they will be able to claim that NFT. So coming back to our code editor here, let me close that out. Uh, we'll add a Web3 button here and we'll just say, have it say claim. Now our Web3 button does need two things. Uh, we do need the contract address that it is going to be calling a function on and we can just do our NFT address here. And we do also need the action that we are going to be doing on our contract. So on our contract, uh, we can first specify that it is an ERC 1155 token. And then from there, we can do the claim function. Uh, we do need to pass the token ID, which is token ID zero, because we only have one NFT in our collection and the quantity that's going to be claimed. So we can say one. And uh, we can also put uh, on success, uh, we can, and then on success, we'll just alert that uh, the NFT was claimed. So coming back to our app here, we now have that claim button. And if we click that, we'll be able to claim our NFT. So if we take a quick look at our NFT here, uh, the supply is currently zero. And if we go to our Explorer here, let me just copy my wallet address for my smart wallet here. I go to read and I read the balance of our account for token ID zero. You can see we don't own any of those NFTs in this account. So coming back to our app here, if I click on claim, again, this is all gasless. So a user just needs to click on claim to claim the NFT and it will be claimed to their smart wallet. And you can see here we got our alert saying that it was successful. We claimed our NFT. We can come back to our collection here. If I look at NFTs, you can now see we own one NFT or one supply of the NFT. Coming back to our explore tab, we can go to our read functions and we can read the balance of our contract address or a smart wallet for ID zero. And we can now see that that smart wallet owns one NFT. And there you have it. You can now create your very own ERC4337 compatible smart contract wallets using our smart wallets from Third Web and our brand new wallet SDK. We'll also link down in the description links to the documentations so you can fully customize your smart wallet experience for your users, add your own custom logic and add your own features that you want for your application. So now with a combination of smart wallets, local wallets and everything in our brand new wallet SDK, you can create a a seamless Web3 experience, even for non-native Web3 users who aren't familiar with using wallets. So again, if you folks did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on tutorial videos just like this. And if you aren't part of our Discord community already, join the amazing community of builders just like yourself. We'll add the link down in the description below. If you have any questions or you need any support, you can ask it in our Discord and we'll be happy to help you out. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video and until next time, see ya.